Today's video is going to be about how I do my hair. As you can see now, it's pretty much just regular straight. I just washed it and blow dried it and did it straight. So I can show you guys how I do my curls that I wear when I'm wearing my hair straight. Um, I am natural. I've been natural since way before being natural. It was cool, like <laughs> literally in the seventh grade. <laughs> like it's been forever since I've had a perm. So. I'm really good at learning how to tame my hair, which is really the biggest part about being natural, just learning what works for your hair and what doesn't. So this works for my hair. This video is not about how I keep my hair healthy, what I do to make my hair healthy because my hair has its flaws just like everyone else's. I'm just showing you what I do. So let's start with my tools. First, I have a Chi flat iron. I'm gonna turn it around the right way. You can get a Chi pretty much anywhere nowadays. Um, the beauty supply store, well, I think Walmart sells them now. They're about $100. Um, sometimes you can catch them on a really good sale somewhere and maybe get it for like $75. So pretty good deal as far as the Chi goes. Um, also, of course, I use a clip to keep my hair separated as well as a few ponytail holders just to keep my hair in different sections and my comb. There it goes. And I use a rat tail comb. This is just my preference. Some people hate these combs. Some people love them. Whatever. I like them. So that's what I use. So start off by sectioning my hair. I've literally sectioned my hair the same way for the absolute longest. I literally put my hands through the middle and section the top. Usually the top is where I put the most curls, which is why I keep this part up. Because this part is going to get the most curling. Then the back. So, I part my hair pretty much with my fingers. Um, I use the comb really just to detangle along the way. It's really not for pretty much anything else. Um, I'm not really big on, on perfect parts just to straighten my hair, so we're fine. So as far as the back goes, I'm not a big curl in the back kind of girl. So I do some kind of curls back here, but it's definitely not as big as what my front looks like. So as you can see, it's just a little random kind of curl, which by the end of the day will fall. So my hair will just be kind of whatever in the back. And I just go through the whole back of my hair doing this. I always get my roots really well because I just feel like if your roots aren't straight, why did you even do your hair? Like, I love straight roots. So, that's why I kind of go over my roots a couple times. And of course... That's the part that's going to be, you know, puff up when I walk outside and it's 100 degrees. So I just kind of make sure I go over my roots a couple times because I don't like puffy roots. <laughs> Pretty simple. when I straighten my hair it's a lot more work to go over um, it's pretty easy like second and third day to just kind of spruce it up a little bit but the first day it takes forever if you guys would like to see a video of start to finish for how I do my hair I'll be happy to make one but this is really just a tutorial on kind of how I kind of achieve my curls.
like I said, it's just a few curls. Nothing major going on back there. Definitely nothing. So, this is kind of the finished product. There's a few curls kind of hanging out, whatever. Alright, so now to the front, which is the most important part. Because that's where the curls really come into play. So, I'm going to take my hair bow out. And I do the same thing with the front as I did earlier. Just make another part. Like I said, with my hand, it really doesn't matter because you can kind of pick which way you want your curls to go. Today, um, I think I'm going to make my curls go to the left. So, one thing you guys will notice is how dark my hair is down here and how light it is up here. That is because I'm trying to let all of my color grow out of my hair. I kind of just want to see um, where my hair can go without being colored. I don't know. I just want it to go back to its natural color. So that's why it looks crazy and like ombre, but it's really not. All right. So the biggest thing about the front of my hair is that I hate fuzzy edges. When I say I hate fuzzy edges, I hate fuzzy edges. So, I will go over my edges five times because I hate fuzzy edges. So, if you see me going over them a lot, that's why. Because I hate them. I think they're just tacky. So, let's learn about my curls. So, first I go through my hair one time with my flat iron. Then, go through stop away about halfway down and start to turn your flat on so you see the hair over here is kind of just hanging out and just go down that's how you make the curl you i literally just use my flat iron and turn it i tell people all the time it's in the wrist it's in the wrist <laughs> because it really is um if you can get some good turning action going then you'll be fine that's the biggest part of making the curl is just turning your flat iron going slow make sure you keep the hair in the flat iron because sometimes i forget and the hair will slide out and so that's what will kind of mess me up but it's fairly easy and simple just so it looks hard i guess um one of the biggest things i've encountered uh while doing someone else's hair or someone doing my hair is not having the right flat iron i don't know if it has to do with the plates or the um the heat on the flat iron i don't know what it is but if i've used like no offense to those of you who love your 20 dollar walmart flat irons but i've used some of those and they just don't give the same curl pattern it's not the same thing you it's the curls fall in 10 seconds it just doesn't benefit my hair now for you it might work like i said everyone's hair style is different so for you it might be the best thing ever that ever happened but for me it doesn't work so this is one of the reasons why I love my cheek for this reason exactly I do want to try some new flat irons such as this baby bliss pro that I keep hearing about I hear that it's great so I'm gonna try that Get those edges. <laughs> and you just keep doing this throughout your whole head. Your hair, your curls do not have to be perfect at all. Literally at all. Because you'll see after I get done, I usually like kind of just finger comb through them. So by the time I'm done, they don't look like this. Like this is just too perfect. You see that one looks like crazy. But it doesn't matter because whatever. It's not as serious. And in case you were wondering, I am in a hotel. I'm actually in Mexico today, Arriba, Arriba. Um, that's this ugly uh, wallpaper behind me that looks like the um, the play button from Comcast. 
That's what this wallpaper is. This is not my house. So don't think that I have this wallpaper just hanging up. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, this side is done. So you can pretty much tell what it's going to look like, how my curls are going to come out. So I kind of just finger through them. Sometimes I do it when I'm done with one side, sometimes I just wait. So, like I said, I want my hair to go to the left. So I'll start on this side. This is when our handy dandy clip comes back in because you don't want to get your hair just completely messed up. Um, so I'll start from this side just going down the bottom just as I did from the other side. And then when I get towards the top, I'll go back to flipping everything to the top. But you want a little bit of hair on this side, at least a little bit. And using my bottom curl, I don't know why, I just always do it in. I don't know why. Don't know. Oh. I found my button. Not being as cooperative on this side. So it's just a few little curls to say, hey, we're over here, you know, whatever. So now back to this side because this is the way that I want my hair to go. Um, sometimes I do do my part down the middle and that's fine too. There's no real w w way to wear your hair. Do what you want to do. just kind of finger comb through them and make them do something. So that is my tutorial on how I do my hair and achieve my curls. I hope this helps someone out there and I hope that you guys really enjoyed my video. Um, I will post some links down below on where you can buy Chi online and I hope that you all subscribe and like my videos. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.